Ah, uh, I'm so embarrassed. We got so Nancy, it's your fault. I didn't even notice. All right, you got us. But it does smell good. In the interest of science and a lot of fun, we're gonna see if we can cook a steak in the microwave and one in the dishwasher. So it's amazing what you can learn from the internet. And when we watch this TikToker show us that you could successfully cook a steak in the microwave using two unconventional settings, we were like, all right, is that legit or is it so we'll find out which one of those it is. And while we're doing that, I mean, come on, the dishwasher's basically right beside it. We might as well try the old, can you cook a steak in a dishwasher thing. It's basically dishwasher sous vide, if you think about it. You're taking a steak, putting it in a plastic bag, vacuum sealing it, and throwing it in superheated hot water for like an hour and a half. And then I guess we'll sear it. Because it's gonna look like There's no question about it. I have in front of me, Two beautiful ribeyes. One's going in the bag, one's going in the microwave. Let's bag one up first. All right, two steaks, both ribeyes. They must have been cut from right beside each other because they look like twins, don't they? So we're gonna do this. We'll take one of them, pick the fellow up, and we'll put them in our bag like this. We're gonna add just a couple things. Some butter, uno and dos, and some thyme. I'll just give it a little, little more flavor. So this guy will go inside and we'll put in the dishwasher, and this guy will put on this plate, and this one goes in the microwave. Lads, we're going inside. All right, so let's see. We turn on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Our first setting that comes up is sanitation wash. An hour and a half, I think that's what it's gonna take. So I guess it doesn't matter, right? You go on the top shelf or bottom shelf? It shouldn't make a difference, should it? You tell me. I, I don't, don't know. know. I've never cooked a steak in a dishwasher before. I can't imagine it makes a difference. Well, no, I think it's I think it's gotta go there. Okay. Start. Close door. Starts in three seconds. Three, two, one. Wait for it. Okay, I'll see you in an hour and a half. All right, now our other guy goes like this. We put it in. Fortunately, it's clean in there. Not like my I was gonna say not like my college days, but I didn't really go to college, so forget that. Steak. There we go. Now I played with this earlier, so I know. The most I can make this is four pounds. Oh, 13 minutes. Okay, so what Royce's version was, was 20 minutes. So I'm gonna have to give it another seven when this is up. Okay. That wasn't 13 minutes. It says cover edge. Okay. Can I just show you what's happening here? You can, yes. Okay, this is, it's a f disaster. This is gross. I don't know what it's doing, but this, and it only didn't even go the whole, oh, come on. It actually doesn't smell too bad. <laughs> but this is horrifying. This can't continue. It can't? Well, what am I gonna do with it? I mean, we gotta do the experiment, right? Well, I don't know how long it was How long it was in there for. It was like five minutes, maybe. Oh, it's good. It, uh, Looks like prime rib. Yeah. It actually does go. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Just keep it going. I, what do you mean? Put it back in. Well, why did it, it, come on, man. Turn, turn food. Maybe that's what it's saying, turn food. Does it need to be covered with anything? It wasn't, in the, in the example, it wasn't at all. Is this TikToker just faking a perfect steak out of the microwave? Oh, it's not working. All right, here we go, hold on. There's, there's the rest of the time. And then what happens is then you use the popcorn setting to brown it. <sighs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, so it just went off again. And now look, it's a, it's a monster steak. It's ugly as, so here is 190, uh, 204 degrees inside. I would say that's perfect for a brisket that you've smoked for 16 hours. The center is 150, 100. This is not a successful experiment. I'm not gonna continue this. Well, now we'll try the popcorn setting and see if it browns it. I'm gonna dry this though, cause, cause it's gross. Meanwhile, God, ugh. I don't know. I know, well. I think we're gonna be surprised okay. maybe. Popcorn setting, regular. It started by itself. Anything? No, it started by itself. So two minutes. Wait, did he do it for two minutes and then flip it? Okay, stand by. Is something just crackle? No. So See, if you look, look inside here, now this steak is actually fully cooked at this point, but it looks absolutely disgusting. So I'm gonna show you how to sear this, yes, in the microwave. The trick to searing it in the microwave is to actually use the popcorn setting. It did nothing. That wasn't two minutes, why did it stop? How long was it, a minute? Hey Siri, how long left in my timer? 46 seconds. But remember, it just started on its own, why? 30 to 35 seconds, it was a minute and 14 seconds. And that's... Okay, we'll put it back in. Let's... 
Well, no, what, what do you mean you put it back in? Flip it, flip it. Watch, okay. Popcorn, right? Goes on by itself. Why not snack? Well, I think snack is little. It'll be less time. <laughs> no, I'm doing the snack. I'll just take your hand away. Time it. Madness. And it's not a shitty microwave. It's a high power microwave. I'm, I'm now starting to really doubt this. Smells good. What if it's just it does bullshit? smell good. I don't know. What if it's just fake? What do the comments say? That's a good question, Chance. We could very easily fake the shit out of this. April Fools? Wait, what? Was this on 4-1? Oh my god, this was an April Fools joke. I didn't even notice. <laughs> her. <laughs> her. We got <laughs> We got so <laughs> Oh, it's yeah, it's an April Fools joke. It's oh. right there. All right, you Got us, Royce. But it does smell good. I actually. All right, let's go cut it outside. Let's just go look at it. Jesus. Oh my God, you got us. Ah, uh, I'm so embarrassed. Chancy, it's your fault. Hey, I said check the comments. How did Chancy do a media? He was like, just go look at the comments. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is just the worst. Oh my God. Now, of course, we all know you should let your steak rest. We're not going to. I mean, why are we even doing it? Look at this is the decal. This part, this is the decal. This part's really good. Should be really good. You know, this is not normally how I like my steak. We know. Meanwhile, we're all having a bite. Look at what we're eating. Give Chance one. Oh yeah, that's bad. Oh, I didn't even season it. Here. That's real bad. Mm. You're gonna, it's not so bad. Pretty much never gonna see me holding up a piece of steak that color. Cause that's not what I like. You know, with little cooking guy SPG, it's actually not terrible. If you had no other way to cook a steak, I would say just do it. Just microwave it. But the color, oof, it's grim. All right, well, now we're just waiting for the dishwasher to finish. Probably got about an hour and a quarter left. See when it comes out. And after an hour and a half, that's what we have. Gonna be honest with you, it looks very much like a steak wood that came out of the sous vide. So let's take it out and dry it off because you can't cook a wet steak and we need to give it a sear. All right. My tongs, this. And so here's what I've learned. I learned that a dishwasher heats its water generally between 130 and 140 degrees. So that's basically medium rare. Let's take it off. Let's season both sides of it because we need to do that. It's a weird coloration, but okay. Cast iron pan and we're searing. Okay, cast iron's hot. You can see how the oil reacts, but it's not level. Okay, now in we go. We're probably a minute aside, really not much more than that. We're just looking for beautiful color. I think it's cooked quite nicely. God, I just like full contact, so full color, you know? Let's see how that looks. Okay, turn our guy over. Dishwasher sous vide. I don't think you can be mad at that. That certainly looks beautiful. Certainly better than the popcorn setting. Oh my God. Royce. Still, still mad about that. That's what we get for not reading everything first. All right, I think we can take it out. Kill the heat. Gorgeous, pick it up. Look at this. All right, let's move the pan and cut into it. Let's do this. Now, you know, when we cook a steak hot, like on the grill, you let it rest 10 minutes, but because this was cooked low temp, slow, you don't need to worry about letting it rest. And all we need to do now is this. What the hell? What the freaking hell? Look how gorgeous and perfect that is. That's unbelievable, like unbelievable. All right, we taste test. That's fabulous. Come on. Oh, hello, perfect. You would never know. And there's no reason you should. It's the exact same principle as regular sous vide, except you don't need the machine. You have a dishwasher for it. And what is perfect about this, just to remind you, or if you don't know, the beauty of sous vide is once it reaches the internal temperature that the water's at, in this case, somewhere between 130 and 140, I'm guessing, it can't go over. If it takes an hour to get there and you don't pull it out of the water for two hours or three hours, it's not gonna change the doneness. It might change the, the texture a little bit. The steak might get too soft or a little mushy, but an hour and a half, in the dishwasher gave me this. So what have we learned today? We've learned that dishwasher sous vide is a thing and it works. It's legit, it's not shit. We've also learned that cooking a steak in a microwave according to Royce's instructions is shit, not legit, and we got punked very big. 
and I'm embarrassed for Max because it was his idea. You fool, what are you thinking? That's it from us. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Give us a like. More importantly, let us know what you want to see us make. They say you can cook a steak or a protein in a car engine while you're out driving. Maybe we should try that. I don't know. I think we, we stop with this. A total win.